Yo guys, what is going on? It's on what ups everywhere. <sighs> Intro. No, just kidding. That came before this. Uh -huh, that's right. Okay, so I have a review on the commuter case series for the iPhone 4 from Otterbox. Did everybody say that? I don't remember. Um, this is a long-awaited, well, not long-awaited, long put off procrastinator review. Um, thank you, Danny, over there at Otterbox.com for being so patient with me. Um, if I were him, I would have probably walked to New Jersey and chopped my head off by now. So, thank you, Danny, again, for being so patient. Um, yes, this was sent out to me by Otterbox, and you know how much I love Otterbox cases. You've seen all my videos with them, uh, with my iPod Touch. You can actually check out my video um, where I dunk my, or not dunk, I actually completely submerge my iPod Touch um, in an Otterbox case in water and play around with it underwater in a really cool-looking sink, the coolest one in my house I could find. So, if you want to go look at that, um, I guess I can put an annotation maybe here, or you can just go look for it yourselves, because I am mean and cruel and really, really mean, like that. <laughs> so, let's just get on with the review. Let's make this quick, because I know you guys want me to get to the awesome iPod Nano giveaway. That's going to be coming up soon tomorrow. Okay, so on to the case review. This is the commuter series, minus the silicone. Here is the silicone. It is a two-piece case, like all previous OtterBox, actually just... Just the one. I've only had the iPod or iPhone 3GS version. Um, 3G 3GS version. Uh, this is the this is the box it came in. Very very nice, cool packaging. Now it does come with a screen protector and squeegee and microfiber, which is very 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 nice of them. This will be included in my giveaway. So yeah, this giveaway is not just an iPod Nano. It's for a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, more on that later. So this is what we have. We have a two piece case. First layer is the silicone, second layer is the hard plastic shell or spine, as some people could call it. Um, let's just stick it on and show you what it looks like with it on. So, a thing, I think a signature of OtterBox is their application of these, uh, application, I sound so smart, is <laughs> these, are these uh, additions of these sort of, these port caps, these silicone port caps that are attached to the case that protect your case, um, protect your phone from dust, lint, and all that crazy stuff that can get in your headphone jack and your 32-pin um, connector. No different here. They're still included, and they're rocking as always. Now, they suggest you put it on a uh, power button side first, and that's what I'm going to do. And you can just sort of mush it on all you'd like. Like that. Make sure the plastic clips in place at the bottom. And there we go. Pretty easy application. You can see it's fitted on very nicely. Top's great. Everything's in all great. Um, once it's on, very, very easy application to put it on. Very, very easy, you know, take off process as well. What we have is a very, very cool looking case. Again, very, very stylish. It's an auto box. They do come in different colors, so go check those out. So what we, uh, blah, what we have, say that again, <laughs> is bottom um, silicone covers most, or the plastic covers most of it. We have this nice cutout for the silicone cap. Why is there no light on this thing? I don't know. There we go. Glare. Okay, so we have a nice silicone cap for the 32-pin um, connector, which is um, nestled nicely between in between silicone, I mean, in between plastic. We have a very nice cutout for your speakers. Along the right side, we don't have anything. On the top, we have a very nice cutout as well, and a flap dust protector flap for your headphone jack. No problems whatsoever with Apple headphones or any of those uh, those with that sized headphone jack uh, thing. Um, you might have some problem with bigger ones as the plastic does come kind of close and is kind of high um, next to the headphone hole. On the left side we have a very nice cutout for the volume rocker switch and buttons. Very nice clickable buttons <laughs> for the volume um, buttons. Yes, volume buttons. So what do I think? Well, I freaking love it. So, it, we have the Apple logo here, which is another thing that Autobox loves to do. They love to expose the Apple logo, which is great because usually when cases like this, especially like an in case slider or the spec candy shell, no one can see that it's an iPhone. Well, they can they can kind of get a, a sense of it, but you can't see just blatant right out that, oh, that's an iPhone, that guy's awesome because he's an iPhone. Um, so what they did, Autobox does is, well, I think this is why they do it. They um, expose the iPhone logo, um, the Apple logo, which is very, very cool. I'm going to absolutely love it. Previously in iPhone 4, iPhone 3G, 3GS, Autobox commuter cases, they had a plastic cap that would actually, a plastic see-through cap, 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 that would cover the Apple logo. They got rid of that here and instead just have it exposed to the, and so this is actually glass that 
could get damaged in some way. So I kind of like to see some plastic, clear plastic, even though it might impede the look of it a tiny bit or the design process, um, since I might get might be kind of hard to get a clear plastic thing on top of that thing. It still really it make me feel a lot better because now it's just going to be this open glass area, special especially right next to the Apple logo that will get all scratched up if you know something sharp gets in there. We have very very nice cutouts for the camera holes. Um, they had they're two separate holes. Make your jokes in the comments. They're two separate holes. Um, each one, one for the flash, one for the camera. Nothing wrong with the glare. Works great with the camera. Looks great. Fits great. It's almost a perfect cutout. I've never seen a more perfect cutout than that. You can see that it looks great. It's almost dead on. Perfect. Um, and so overall designs, really, really nice. They have different colors you can go check out. I love how they expose the Apple logo as usual. Lay on the table design, very, very solid case. Really great drop protection. Really great scratch protection. Um, it does it, The silicone's medium, medium thickness. Um, it gets a tiny bit thicker around the edges on the four corners of the phone, which is always good. The plastic spine will help you against scratch protection, which is really, really awesome as well. Um, the only really complaint I had was, besides that, you know, the, the scratchable Apple logo, is the fact that the plastic spine doesn't seem to stay on as well as previous OtterBox commuter cases. As you can see, as my camera fails to focus completely on the thing because it's a piece of crap, <laughs> you can see that the plastic up here, especially on the top, is sort of warped a little bit. I didn't, I don't think I bent it. I put it on right out of the package and this is how it appeared. This is how it kind of came up. Um, you can see that it doesn't really form fit to the case as well as I had hoped. Um, it's not really a big problem, especially um, as a user. You know, I've used, this, I've used this for about like two weeks now or three weeks now. It hasn't been a problem. Sometimes it gets caught on my jeans or something because it is kind of the sharp piece of plastic that's kind of sticking out um, over the case. Um, but it's just a, sort of this, you know, nitpicky, obsessive thing that I kind of get into where I want their cases to be perfect because I've experienced their really, really great perfect cases. Um, a tiny bit on the bottom, as you can see there as well. And so that's honestly the only thing I really had a problem with. Besides that, really high quality case. The, the plastic itself has sort of this matte, um, not matte, but you can kind of hear it. It has this texture to it. Not slippery whatsoever. Really, really good quality case. I'd highly recommend it if you're looking for protection and style at the same exact time. OtterBox is definitely always the way to go. Don't ever look anywhere else. They did not pay me to say that. I honestly think, I really honestly love this case. Um, okay, so that's the OtterBox Commuter. Thanks, Danny, again over at OtterBox.com. Here, upcoming is the giveaway announcement and stuff like that. I'm going to switch to my screen flow on my computer. And so that's it for this review. Expect the giveaway to go up tomorrow. I'll talk about that later. Okay, guys, there you have it. Wonderful case again from OtterBox. I'll see you guys around. Stay tuned. Yeah. Yo, guys, welcome to my computer. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Okay, so here we go. Giveaway time. Um, I haven't really done one in a while, so I decided to beef up one a little bit and get, get in, uh, I guess, spirit for the holiday season. So what I'm going to give away is a brand new iPod Shuffle with a voiceover. And it's the very best of the iPod Shuffle, only $49. Um, I don't know if I should give away this or the iPod Nano. The iPod Nano is a bit more expensive. And honestly, I could give that away. Um, I just, I don't know. Um, so yeah, tell me, tell me what you guys think. Uh, I'll upload the video tomorrow. So whatever comments, so one of you just write like iPod Nano, iPod Shuffle. Of course, you know, iPod Nano, I know it's going to get a lot more hits, but... For the iPod Shuffle, I'll be giving away two. So, because, you know, they're pretty much the same price. One, the Nano, um, the Nano is 150 I think. And the iPod Shuffle is only 50 So, I'd give away two iPod Nanos. Or, I'd give away just one iPod Nano. Or, two iPod Shuffles. Or, just one iPod Nano. Um, so, here's how it's going to work. To get on this, <laughs> watch the video tomorrow when I upload it. I think around noon or maybe later in the day. Um... It'll be one of the other, depending on whatever one gets more thumbs up. So go down in the comments, write uh, if the I think if you find if you see one that already says you know iPod or iPod iPod Nano iPod Shuffle, just thumb that one up, and whoever whichever one gets more thumbs ups, thumbs ups will um, that that one will be picked, and I'll choose you know if it's whatever for that, and I'll tell you guys in the um, video tomorrow, and also I'll be giving away my older iPod Shuffle, the third generation, the one with no buttons. Um, 
haven't used it, brand new, four gigabytes, the silver color. Um, so that's, I'll be giving that away as well. So that's three, three or two iPod shuffles or one iPod shuffle and one iPod Nano or two iPod Nano or I'm getting mixed up. <laughs> it'll be either two iPod shuffles or it'll be either one iPod shuffle, one iPod Nano or three iPod shuffles. There you go. Uh, so yeah, that'll be cool. That'll be a new one. I'll also, I'll also throw in the auto box to be just a new case. Um, and maybe an iTunes gift card or something like that. Just give it back to the community because you guys rock my world with my channel right here. Um, oh, and by the way, thanks to Dar Gadgets, I think that's his name. He made two intros for me, um, and they're pretty badass. They'll be up in my next video um, whenever he sends me the HD reviews. Go check him out down below. Um, I guess that was kind of a shout out. I don't know why I did that. Anyways. Uh, okay, and so if you guys do make intros for me, I don't know why you do this, but I guess like CCFXC does that and outros and stuff like that. If you guys do, um, some for some weird reason, want to do that for me, <laughs> you can just send them to my email or send me through a PM, um, and I'll just I'll do it randomly. I'll stick your name in the description. Blah blah blah. I guess best best app of the week too. You know, it's not working yet. Working out. Um, so I'll just cut that off. Even though it was a good idea, I guess I'll just stop it altogether. Um, so there you have it, guys. Giveaways coming up on one of these beautiful gadgets called the iPod Shuffle with buttons. <laughs> iPod Shuffle with buttons. Um, so I think I'll either do an, an orange one and a silver one because an orange one seems pretty neutral. Silver seems pretty neutral. Girly, girly, girly. Okay. <laughs> and then for the iPod Nano, we'll see what goes on with that as well. I really want one, actually. I kind of get one for myself. Mm. Anyways, I'll even gift wrap it for you. Ooh, that's a good idea. Whichever one, I'll gift wrap it, free laser engraving for you, and send it right to your house. Just give me your address and stuff like that. Um, so that's a pretty good deal, I gotta say. Watch the video tomorrow. I'll see you guys around side ups everywhere. Freaking love this movie. Toy Story 3. Who, who saw that? That was freaking good. Whoa, what the hell? What, what is this? What the F? What the what are they doing? They're selling a Panasonic item on a Apple website. What? What? Who said that's legal? That seems completely illegal. Uh, what? Whoa, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why are they selling? I don't understand. Oh, Mac accessories. This, ah, I'm going, I don't know what I'm doing with this. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys later. I don't, well, this is, well, I'm gonna upload this. Um. I don't. I don't really. I don't do. You know. You know. You know my channel. I don't do like tech updates because I'm not. I'm not that much of like a. I don't, I don't want to call, one, call anyone out there, hurt anyone's feelings. But I don't. I don't associate myself with the word geek. I'm not really into that whole. Oh, you know, whatever the new eye life or something like that. Even though I am getting it, um, I don't really associate myself with that, and I don't really put that much focus on it. So I don't like. I'm not kind of like soldier knows best. You know, if you know him, I'm more just. I review apps and do it in the way I like and stuff like that. And I don't know why I'm talking about this. So I'll see you guys around.